isomers. Molecules are compound with the same molecular formula, but with different arrangement of atoms. Molecules are compounds with the same molecular formula. Molecules are compounds with the same molecular formula, but with different arrangements of atoms. But with different arrangements of atoms. Molecules are compounds with the same molecular formula, but with different arrangements of atoms in their molecule. But with different arrangement of atoms in their words, molecule. That is isomer. But what is isomerism? Isomerism. Okay, paragraph. Isomerism is the phenomenon. Isomerism is the phenomenon. Isomerism is a phenomenon whereby whereby two or more covalent compound whereby two or more covalent compound two or more covalent compound have the same have the same molecular formula have two or more covalent compound two or more covalent compound have the same molecular formula but with different arrangement of atoms. 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 But with different arrangement of words. Atoms. Full stop. With different arrangement of words, atoms. Stop. Okay, let's go to the next slide. I think um, types. Isomerism types. Before types of isomerism. On the screen, you can see. Isomerism is of two types. First is what? Structural isomerism. Structural isomerism. Which can also be referred to as constitutional isomerism. On the board, structural isomerism or constitutional isomerism. Then the other side, other type is what? Stereo isomerism. Stereo isomerism. I'm what I'm talking is uh, isomerism, not just isomer. Isomerism is of two types. One is structural, structural in bracket, constitutional isomerism. And then two is stereo isomerism. Okay. Then structural is further classified into okay. Our slide um, on the screen you see three, but I'm going to add three more to make it six. We have chain, chain, chain isomerism, chain isomerism, chain isomerism, chain isomerism two. Position on the board, positional isomerism three functional group isomerism, functional group isomerism. Four. Metamerism, metamerism, five, totamerism, on the board, totamerism, totamerism, then the last but not the least is ring chain. I'll just add a trait to what you have there. 
ring chain ring chain isomerism there are six types of structural isomerism then we have just two types of stereo isomerism two types on your board geometric and what optical geometric geometric isomerism and then here is what optical isomerism so on the one on the screen you can just add on that structure you can just add three more to that the other one still remains two what is structural isomerism who can tell you can define it structural isomerism let's go to structural i don't know what it is there structural isomerism see the screen if you don't see the body screen is there it's the same thing with the screen down on the screen i just added my own is saying isomerism the body is saying isomer it's the same thing okay Struct structural isomerism Okay, now you can see on the screen structural isom isomer. It's a different connectivity of atoms. Okay, please. Um, for me, under structural isomerism, please write structural isomerism. Just write, let me just define it. I'll not give example with the one on the board. Structural isomerism. Right. This is the phenomenon. This is the phenomenon. This is a phenomenon whereby, whereby, whereby two or more, whereby two or more, whereby two or more, whereby two or more. Covalent compound or organic compound or organic compound have the same molecular formula. Have the same molecular formula but different structural, but different structural, but different structural formula but different structural formula or connectivity of atoms or connectivity of atoms or connectivity of what atoms full stop paragraph there are six main types of structural isomerism six main types of structural isomerism please Write the three, the one on the screen, and then I'll add three to make it six. The one on the screen, screen chain, position, functional. Once you are done with that, I will not give you the remaining three to make it six. There are six main types of structural isomerism. Six main types of structural isomerism. It's on the board. Three is on the board. Once you are through with that, I can now give you the remaining three. There are six main types of structural isomerism. Six main types of structural isomerism. Okay. Number one is chain isomerism. Two, position isomerism. Three, functional group isomerism. Four, metamerism. Metamerism. You can see there. Metamerism. Five, totamerism. Tota merism and then six is ring chain isomerism. These things are still on the board. Chain isomerism subheading is on the board. You can see it on the screen. You can see on your screen chain isomerism. 
Okay, now let me just give you. It's, it's, it's on the board already. Okay, now. Now, for what you have on the screen, the isomers on the chain isomerism have the same molecular formula. Are there? The same molecular formula. Different structural word formula. The same molecular formula, different structural formula as well as different chains. If you watch the chains, the chains are not the same. One is a stretch chain. Abi? The second one is a branch word chain. Can you see the two structures on the board there? You see, it's one is only stretching. Second one is what? Branch chain. So that is why it is called chain isomerism. The phenomenon of these two compounds is called what? Chain. Why? The two isomers have different what? Chains. Are you with me? But the same molecular word formula. Now, if you look at their properties now, they have the same chemical property. Why? Because both of them belong to the same homologous word series. They are both alkanes. Are you with me? The two are both what? Alkanes. So they have the same chemical property, but different what? Physical property. Now look at what happened here. Between the two structures on the board, you can see on the board, which one appears to have larger surface area between the two structures? The one that have four carbon straight, Abby, than the one that have three carbon. Are you, you know? So the one that have large surface area will appear to have higher melting and boiling world points than the one with fewer number of carbon in their long world chain. Are you following now? Now, now look at the structure on the board. You find out that the structure on the board has the molecular formula of what? C for H what? 10. Is that it? Now, they ask you a simple question in exam. How many possible isomer, how many possible chain isomer can be deduced from this compound? How many possible isomer can you get from this compound? Two. Look at the two of them on the screen. The two of them on the screen is that the first one is one, two, three, four. The long chain. How many hydrogen are there? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the second one has three long chain. And then carbon, the fourth one, branch somewhere. Now count the number of hydrogen you have there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what? Ten. Either. Now it is only two they will have. The first one, which is straight chain. All alkanes that are straight chain alkanes are called normal alkanes. Are called what? Normal alkane. Since this alkane is a long chain alkane, this alkane is now called what? Normal what? Butane. Are you with me? Why is it normal butane? Because it is straight chain. This is also an alkane, but not straight chain alkane. So Alkanes that are not straight chain are called isoalkane. So since this has four carbon atoms, just like normal butane, you can call this word isobutane. But its real IOPAC name is what? Methyl what? Methyl what? Propane. And I told you to do away with the two because there is no three. Okay? Because now someone may say this is two methyl. The person is still correct. But why I'm not going to why I'm not going to hit on that two is because there can't be anything rather than what? Two. There is no three. There is no one. Hello? Yes? If it is two two times methylpropane, it's no longer an isomer of that compound now because the carbon will increase now. Reason that we told you to. If you add another carbon here, would it be five now? Hey now. So it's not what we are talking about. That one will be, will, uh, will be out of it. Are you with me now? So there is nothing rather than what? Two. There is not. Now let's get what I mean now. One, two, three. Please. How many carbon atoms are here? Three. That means the ones at the edge appears to be what? Primary carbon. Abby? The one in the middle appears to be what? Secondary carbon. 
And, and, and it is only at that secondary carbon that you are allowed to add a branch. That is why propane cannot have a branch chain. The simplest alkane that has branch chain is butane. No branch chain in ethane. No branch chain in propane. Branch chain started from where? Butane. Are you with me? Are you with me? I repeat. The, the simplest branching alkane is what? Butane. Propane cannot have branching. Let's see if it can have branching. What if we cut this here? It's two. And then we go ahead to add it here. What do we call this here? Is it one methyl ethane? It is still what? Propane. No matter how you want to look at it, it's still propane. Because the longest chain is one, two, what? Three. But if you have one, two, three, four, you can break this one down and still bring it here. And it will still form a different structure entirely, which is a branch. This is still straight chain. It depends on the way you are looking at it. If I straighten it very well, it will be the same with what? the first long chain word propane. So you know the words. How many possible chain isomer can you get from butane? Two. What are they? Normal butane and methyl propane. It's on the board. For example, butane and methyl propane are chain word isomers of each word order. Are you there? I will give you one example more. <laughs> How many possible isomer are there in pentane? Possible. Three. Can you name the three? Normal pentane one. Methylbutane two. And dimethylpropane is three. I will see you next time. Enjoy.